it is written in John chapter 8, verse... I forgot what verse it is. 34. Very, very, I say unto you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. The Lord gave me revelation and understanding the other day about this, but he also gave me revelation about this today while I was at work. So I want to give an example So, say, I'm going to give multiple examples. The other day, I'm not going to say who, fa I'm not going to say what family member, but someone in my family was talking about this. A family member mentioned that a family member of mine had, is still going strong with, um, with not drinking any more alcohol. And praise Jesus to this anyway. And even when I heard of this on Christmas Day, it was a great blessing to hear this. Anyways, and anyhow, I was I was talking to someone in my family, and they told me that that even though that this person doesn't drink alcohol anymore, they're still an alcoholic. And I immediately knew in my heart. And the Lord put on my heart at that moment that I knew for a fact that was a lie from the devil. And I rebuked this person because if you are a slave to sin, you would still be committing that sin repetitively. Now, obviously, what's written in the Bible tells the testimony and tells the truth of what Jesus said and what he did say. But anyways... What I'm trying to say is, if you are drinking alcohol, then obviously you need to repent. However, if you have repented of drinking alcohol, then you are no longer an alcoholic. And the Lord determines this, not me. I want to give another example to this. So, say... You don't tell any more lies anymore. Then you are no longer a liar. And I also want to give this example. If you are no longer lusting after women or men, then you are no longer a lustful man and woman at heart. And I also want to give this example. And this one is going to make a lot of people angry. If you are a homosexual man or woman, I want to I want to I want to tell you something. You, there is hope for you in the name of Jesus. You may have fornicated with an, another man, the same sex. You may have fornicated with another woman if you're a woman. But there is still hope for you in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name is sharper than any double-edged sword. There is, there is no hope in the world, but there is hope in Jesus. 100%. Infallibly. And I also, basically what I'm trying to get at also is... Are we going to say now that... Um, that... A gay man is still gay, but he repented of being gay or homosexual. And the same to women. If we can say that a woman, or excuse me, if a person that drinks alcohol, they're still an alcoholic. And we can apply that with homosexuality. Are, are we going to say now that well, that person doesn't live a gay lifestyle anymore because he changed his life or her life, but they're still gay. Are we going to say that now? Well, of course not. Why would we say that? Because if if somebody was an alcoholic but repented, then they're no longer an alcoholic. Do you have an ear to hear to what I am saying? I want to give a clear understanding to anyone who's listening to this video. 
Jesus has revealed this to me multiple times. And th and if this is the moment where the Lord is going to tell you something, I want to tell you something. If you are struggling with any sin, addiction, whatever it may be, repent and go to the Lord Jesus and beg him with all of your might and all of your strength, whatever your entire being to say, Lord, help me to resist the devil so that he may flee. But I want to tell you this too. You have to put your part into it too. Jesus can't repent for you. You have to do your part too. That is why Jesus said, if you are not willing to take up your cross and to deny yourself and to follow after me is not my disciple. Jesus' words are very clear on that. But I want to tell you, if you are looking to repent, repent. Because the kingdom of God is at hand. It has been 2,024 years that, um, that Jesus was resurrected from the dead. And he is alive. He is active. He's sharper than any double-edged sword. Don't believe in the lie that, that some people can say, well, this person doesn't drink alcohol anymore, so... But, he, but they're still an alcoholic. That is a lie from Satan. As Even as innocent as that sounds, that's a lie from Satan. That's like saying, um, like the world would, I've heard this so many times on TV, on Law & Order, on SVU. Once a pedophile, always a pedophile. If a pedophile repents of his or her sins, then they are no longer a pedophile. If somebody repents of perverted nonsense, if someone rep repents of being a rapist, if someone repents of being a a uh, fornicator, uh, adulteress, or adulterer, and no longer commits it, and the Lord sees that you are pure at heart at it, you are no longer that sin, or excuse me, you are no longer that sinner. You are no longer that at all do do not believe this lie that some people even christians could say this but mainly the world i'm gonna say this do not listen to this lie rebuke that person or demon in the name of jesus because no lie gets passed to the lord and says this lie is true but we're gonna call it a truth anyway the lord may rebuke you for that your name may be blotted out on the book of life. Because so I will tell you, this book is not the book of life. This is the Bible that gives real testimony and real strict <laughs> commands from Jesus that comes from his lips that he still says to this day. And I'll just read basically, I'll just read one of them just right off the bat. Go sow yourself unto the priest. And, uh, and that was in uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 14. And I'm just going to find a random verse also as well. Um, and just bear with me because I am reading a, uh, a King James Version, and I'm not used to reading this. Um, Mark chapter 2, verse 9. Whether it is easy to say to the sick, to the palsy, their sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up thy bed, and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. The Lord is very serious on how to do things and not to do things. Some things are hard for us to understand, but it doesn't hurt to ask him. I just want to also plainly say is don't listen to the lies that may that church may say in a uplifting way or a exa exaggerated talking or um sensational preaching, I should say. Don't listen to those sensational preaching words. Those words will lead you to death. They will lead you into blindness, into darkness. So I just want to encourage anyone who is trying to repent out there. 
Yes, repent. And if you have not been baptized, be baptized in water. Like Jesus said that, like how Jesus put, how he, how he told Nicodemus, if you, if you are not born again from water and the spirit, um, you will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. And, and by this, um, um, being born of water and the spirit, you have to be born in water, being basically being baptized and then coming up a new creation. And then the baptism of the Holy spirit, you have to be baptized in water and in spirit. But anyways, I just want to tell you guys to, if you have not, um, if you've repented and then haven't done those two things yet, you need to do that. People will think, well, that's just a work. That's a rule book. No, those are the commands of Jesus. If you think, well, that was told by Nicodemus and that was told to him and that was for him. No, that is a lie from the devil. Do not listen to that lie. Just how I've had some people have told me, I'm not going to say their name, but they've, when the Lord put on my heart sharpingly to never watch TV again and not have any TV streaming services, the Lord, t someone told me, well, that's what the Lord told for you. No, if we're going to say, well, these new teachings that supposedly are being taught are not aligned with the Bible, so we can't listen to them or we're just making excuses for ourselves. No. Quit the excuses. The Lord is record. The angels are recording this, and the Lord will say to you on the day of judgment, either say, "Well done, my good and faithful servant," which will be to few, but to many He will say, "Depart from me, for I do not know you." I want you all to wake up to the fact that Jesus is alive. He revealed Himself to me about a year ago. From around a year ago, He did not meet me on good terms. I could be in hell right now because if I didn't beg to the Lord like I did, then then I would have been in hell. But no, the Lord had mercy on me because I said, Lord, please. And I had physical tears coming down my face. So therefore, repent. Whoever is listening to this video, deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow after Jesus and follow after his words, not just what's written in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but follow after his Holy Spirit, the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Nothing will go wrong with that. You may and will go through trials and tribulations, but take heart for Jesus has conquered the world.